Is life a video game? During Code Conference 2016, Elon Musk, CEO of SpaceX and Tesla, and one of my biggest inspirations, was asked if any sufficiently advanced civilization would be able to create a simulation of our reality in an upcoming future. The answer that followed left the crowd in total shock. 40, called 40, 40 years ago, we had Pong, like two rectangles and a dot. That right. was what games were. Now, 40 years later, we have photorealistic 3D simulations with millions of people playing simultaneously, and it's getting better every year. So, as we know, computers and technology in general has advanced radically since Pong came out. Back then, in 1972, the arcade machine that ran Pong didn't even have a simple processor, and the graphics weren't even rendered with pixels. Today, a modern desktop computer can store nearly 27 million copies of Pong in one single hard drive, if we assume the capacity is one terabyte. All these copies fit into this tiny thing, while one single copy of Pong in 1972 required this gigantic arcade machine. So if we assume that technology continues to advance at any rate, be it slow or incredibly slow, eventually the game would be indistinguishable from reality. So, so given that we're clearly on a trajectory to have games that are indistinguishable from reality and those games could be played on any set-top box or on a PC or whatever, and there would probably be, you know, billions of such, uh, you know, computers or set-top boxes. It would seem to follow that the odds that we're in base reality is one in billions. So tell me what's wrong with that argument. Is the answer yes? <laughs> so as you can tell, this whole simulation hypothesis differs quite substantially from the current well-known idea of reality, but. Who the heck knows if we live in a simulation or not? Life might as well be an incredibly advanced video game, like a freaking virtual reality, open world, MMO, RPG, action survival, horror comedy game, or something like that. Elon mentioned later in the video that he hopes that this whole simulation idea is true, since civilization might stop advancing in the future as it encounters some disastrous event. Then we can choose between living in a simulation or not live at all. So in a sense, we do continue our evolution, but in a different way. So, what's gonna happen now, Philip, you might ask? Well, I'm gonna turn my life, yeah, you heard me right, I'm gonna turn my life into an awesome computer game. Because why the heck not? Okay, so here's our simulated world, extremely simplified. And here's me in the middle of this extremely simplified world. Boop. So I need some properties in order for my life to have some kind of meaning here, right? So first of all, we seem to rely heavily on health in various categories in this simulation. So I will begin with setting up one HP bar, starting at 50 HP. Then I need a brain, which is at least as fragile as my body. If my brain runs out of sanity, I'm pretty much toast. So, I'm adding a sanity bar with 50 SP. We don't bother with intelligence, as it's already a lost cause. Health is now our main concern in terms of mere survival in this reality. Almost anything can kill you in this world. And that's what makes this life a challenge. A bullet seemed to crit very high damage, so you don't want to mess with the wrong people. Heck, even a dull fork can kill you if it crits enough damage. Breathing too much air can make you faint, and you can even eat yourself to death. So yeah, nothing more here that needs explanation, I think. Moving on. Now we have armor, which is mostly unnecessary where I live. Unless you want to ride a vehicle, of course, or enter a dangerous area where meteorites might crash down onto your head at any given time. So I will add an armor bar here as well, usually staying at zero. 
Now we have energy. This can be defined as the will to not fall asleep at any given time. When energy reaches very low amounts, you are required to sleep. The energy bar is 100 points. Please let me know if you can find some more stats that we have in this game. I'm convinced there are many more to find. Now, let's talk about performance issues. I have absolutely no idea how many FPS this simulation game runs at. Might as well be 100 trillion frames per second, so I don't bother with FPS counters or anything like that. The game doesn't seem to lag at all either, so either one, it's insanely optimized, or two, it is running on a freaking SpaceX computer. Probably a combination of both. During this week now, we'll see what amazing things are gonna happen in this open world survival game. Hopefully it's not early access. By the way, I am totally serious with this whole thing. Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you believe that reality might actually be a simulation? Feedback is always appreciated. I read every comment so feel free to help me improve. Subscribe for more videos. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you soon. You know things have gone too far when you start to see advertisements like this one on YouTube. What the heck is happening with my life? Seriously, what